Welcome to the feature clip on Blanket Agreement Highlights in SAP Business One Release 9.3. Today we are going to show you how working with Blanket Agreements in SAP Business One Release 9.3 is much more flexible and adaptable, changing needs, and offers better control in managing these agreements. As needs and product or service requirements change over the term of a blanket agreement, you also need to have the flexibility to change terms to the agreement to keep up with those changes. Therefore, there have been a number of enhancements to blanket agreements in SAP Business One 9.3. You now have the ability to determine an exchange rate as part of the agreement term when the business partner currency is foreign, and this rate will then be used as the target document rate. When the status of a blanket agreement is on hold, you are able to update the planned amount or quantity and even price, even if the agreement is linked to other documents. You also have the ability to easily trace and manage the committed, ordered and quantity amounts on the Details tab. To enable better control over the blanket agreement process, you can now control any deviation from the blanket agreement planned amount or planned quantity under Document Settings. You can now determine the shipment type in blanket agreements and the payment method and payment terms when the blanket agreement is not managed on the document header. Previously, you could only manage payments when it was managed at the document header. You also have the flexibility to update the start date of a blanket agreement when no document is currently linked. You can enable the assignment of non-default blanket agreements automatically when multiple blanket agreements for business partners exist and only one of them is valid. You can control this option under Document Settings. And you can also now manage a customer or vendor reference number details. The document status is displayed in the Documents tab, and you can also manage and relate to a project code in the Blanket Agreement header and at the row level. Here we can see the document and general settings available to control and manage the handling of blanket agreements. All of these updates have significantly increased the flexibility and productivity of using blanket agreements. And you can also easily track your committed and ordered quantities and amounts in the blanket agreement, which have not been delivered yet. It also allows for better control over the whole purchasing process, for example, by blocking deviations from blanket agreements. So here is a typical business scenario. With sales slowing for the current quarter, Jason Butler from OEC Computers negotiates a sales blanket agreement with their US-based customer Aquint Systems. They negotiate a blanket exchange rate, payment terms and shipping details for the sale of 100 printers to be purchased by the end of the year. An initial sales order is placed for 50 printers, and during this time the US dollar has strengthened and Aquint Systems approach OEC Computers to renegotiate the exchange rate with the view to increase their planned quantities. So let's have a look at this business scenario in SAP Business One, release 9.3. We are locked into SAP Business One as Jason Butler. And following a successful meeting with foreign-based customer Acquiant Systems, Jason has negotiated blanket agreement terms for the sale of 100 printers over the remaining course of the year. Acquiant Systems is a foreign-based US customer and an exchange rate has also been negotiated. Before creating the blanket agreement in the system, Jason needs to ensure that in the lookup menu under document settings, the option to block multiple blanket agreements for the same AR document is checked. Otherwise, an exchange rate cannot be determined in the sales blanket agreement. Under Sales, Accounts Receivable, I open up the Sales Blanket Agreement. In Add Mode, I'm now able to enter the details for my new Sales Blanket Agreement. I enter the relevant business partner code. I then specify the end date of the Blanket Agreement, which should be scheduled for the end of the year. We have then negotiated an exchange rate. The initial exchange rate negotiated is 1.3, and this will be the exchange rate used as the target document rate. A special unit price has also been negotiated for the printers that they want to purchase. Therefore, the agreement type is then going to be set 
as specific. This will then ensure that the document does not ignore the prices specified in the blanket agreement. We've negotiated the payment terms and also a preferred shipping vendor, which is FedEx. Under the Details tab, we then enter the item details. The planned quantity is 100 and the negotiated unit price is 250 US dollars per unit. Back under the General tab, I then want to update the status of my blanket agreement to approved once all my details have been entered appropriately. I'm now able to add the sales blanket agreement to the system. Once I have added the sales blanket agreement to the system, I can now submit the first order instalment of printers by Acquiant Systems. I simply select Copy To and Sales Order. The first instalment agreed upon is for 50 printers. As you can see, the exchange rate has been copied across to the target document and the unit price is highlighted in blue. This indicates that there is a special price which was negotiated in the blanket agreement. We select a delivery date and then we're able to add the sales order to the system. Back into my sales agreement, if we open up the details tab, we can now see that with a planned quantity of 100 and with the sales order that we've just submitted, the cumulative committed quantity is now 50. If I right click and I open up the relationship map and I drill down on the sales order that just created and I copy this sales order to an invoice and add that invoice to the system, When I refresh my sales blanket agreement, we can see that the committed quantity has now moved into the quantity field and has been updated accordingly. The following month, I receive a call from Acquiant Systems requesting to renegotiate their blanket agreement terms as the US dollar has strengthened. I agree to update the exchange rate and the unit price if my customer agrees to increase the quantity of printers that they have agreed to purchase. So to update a blanket agreement, once it has been linked to existing documents, under the General tab, I need to set the status of this agreement back to On Hold. This will then allow me to update several fields, such as the payment terms and shipping type details. Under the Details tab, I'm also able to update my planned quantity and my unit price. I am also able to update the exchange rate. The exchange rate that we have now renegotiated is 1.2. The planned quantity has been increased to 150 and the unit price has been renegotiated to 225 US dollars per unit. Back under the general tab, I then resume the status of my blanket agreement as approved and update the document accordingly. I'm now going to create an invoice for the remaining quantity at the new special unit price and exchange rate. I simply copy to an AI invoice. The remaining quantity is 100 and the special unit price of 225 US dollars. And of course, the updated exchange rate to 1.2. I now add the AI invoice to the system. If I refresh my sales blanket agreement, under the Details tab, I can see that my planned quantity is 150, the cumulative quantity is 150, and the sales blanket agreement has been updated accordingly. I can simply right-click and open up the relationship map, which then highlights and allows me to easily review the related documents and drill down into the details. All of these blanket agreement updates in 9.3 allow for increased flexibility, productivity and traceability and of course greater control over managing blanket agreement terms. Well that concludes our feature clip on blanket agreement updates. Thank you for your time and make sure you check out other feature clips highlighting SAP Business One 9.3.